Hello, my name is John Alobri. I'm Director of Sales and Marketing here at AEMC Instruments. AEMC is a world leading manufacturer of electrical test and measurement equipment. Specifically known for power quality analysis, ground resistance testers, insulation resistance testers, more commonly referred to as megometers, data loggers, bond resistance, micrometers, and a whole variety of other products. The model 8335 is a full function power quality analyzer. It incorporates many unique features and functions that make the job of analyzing power quality rather easy. The main area here includes direct function buttons. When these buttons are pressed, you immediately see that function and those results on the screen. There's a waveform button, which is what we're looking at here on the screen now, where we see real-time updates of, of the wave. There's a harmonics button, where we can see the harmonic content for both current and voltage for each of the phases, phases 1, 2, and 3, from the 1st through the 50th harmonic. There is a transient inrush mode, where we can see and select whether we want to measure transients or whether we want to measure inrush and then see the results of those functions on the screen. There is a recording function where we can set up the time and the date to start a recording, the time and date of ending the recording, and the frequency at which we want the sample data. The Model 8335 includes two gigabytes of memory, and with this amount of memory we can record up to 22 different variables once per second for 30 days or longer. There is an alarm function where we can pick the start and the start time for tracking events and these events are cataloged by the time they start, the duration, and the value of each event. The 8335 can store up to 10,000 events from any one of 40 or up to including all 40 different variables. There is a setup button. Right? In the setup function we can pick and set the time and date, we can set the contrast and the clarity of the display, we can set the configuration mode, for example if I scroll down to electrical hookup, press the enter key, now I can scroll through whether I on a three phase four wire hookup, a single phase hookup, a, sp a split phase hookup, a three phase five wire for a Y connection hookup and so on. It's very intuitive, very straightforward. Not only does the display tell you which hookup you're choosing, but also gives the operator the schematic of how to connect it. Once I've made my selection, I press the enter key and I move on to my next choice. All right, if I go to sensor selection here, we have an opportunity to determine which sensors we're going to use to measure current. However, the Model 8335 is a smart uh, recorder. It automatically knows what sensor is plugged into it and calibrates to it. We'll talk a little bit more about sensors in a few minutes. In the trend mode that we talked about, this is where I can pick those parameters that we want to record. As you can see from this screen here, there are a multitude of parameters that we can, re we can record. The ones that show up as a red diamond have been selected for recording. To unselect the channel, I simply go to it, press the enter key, now that red diamond turned to a white diamond. So I can pick any up to any one of 22 parameters or all 22 parameters uh, to record in the trend mode. In the alarm mode that we talked about, this is where we're tracking uh, the parameters that we want to record, in this case we're looking at volts RMS, we're looking at for all three phases, and we set a threshold of some voltage value, and we set conditions for which uh, we have to meet in terms of time and percentage deviation for this event to occur. And there are up to 40 of these variables we can pick, and we can, as we said, we can save up to 10,000 of them. Okay, if I go back to the screen mode here, there is a screen capture feature. Simply press the screen capture button, and now this screen is saved into memory, and we can save up to 50 of those screen capture into memory. The sampling mechanism for the Model 8335 
is such that we sample all eight inputs at 250 times per cycle. So we get a very good uh, trace fidelity, very good reproduction of, of the signal. All the power quality functions that you would expect in a power quality analyzer are in this instrument. Volts, amps, watts, vars, power factor, K factor, crest factor, unbalance, flicker, and many, many others. There's also a phase rotation phaser diagram where we can see, if I had all three phases hooked up here, we could see the phase relationship to all of the inputs. This assists you in getting the configuration correctly before starting a recording. To start a recording, it's pretty simple. You press the record button and you press the key here that looks like a disc and we would then begin starting uh, recording at the sample rate and the parameters for which you selected. Some of the key specifications on the 8335, it'll measure true RMS voltage and true RMS current. It'll measure as up to a thousand volts phase to phase or phase to neutral. The current measurement is dependent upon the probe that's connected to it, and we'll talk about the probes in a little bit. And it can be for as low as a few hundred milliamps to as high as 6,500 amps. As we also mentioned, records, VARs, power factor, displacement power factor, demand, kilowatt hours, and many other variables. The unit is powered by a 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery and it has an external charger uh, and we'll talk about how that's connected in a little bit. Fully charged battery with the display on will run about eight hours with the display off and recording it'll re run for about 35 hours on the battery. Of course it can run indefinitely plugged into the charger. For more information please visit 